Welcome friends to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, I'm excited to be here for another episode of Jim and Java. This is always a special time for me as I'm able to address many of your questions, concerns, and just topics of discussions. I've enjoyed so much many of you reaching out to me with questions and concerns. I especially appreciate those that call me or email me or text me with confidential concerns that they have, whether they're dealing with issues related to colleagues, to co-workers, to board members, and to partners. Uh, appreciated so much all the positive feedback we got on our video related to angered partners and angered donors. And we, the response was just overwhelming and I appreciate that so much. We'll continue to uh, create videos that address topics related to uh, those particular items and those particular elements. If you're not already a subscriber to this channel, we would love to have you as part of this community. And as part of the community, you get other special benefits, other special uh, tips, recommendations, and connections. So please be sure to subscribe. Just click the bell and make sure that you do hit the all so that you're notified of when the next video comes out. And also watch us out on Instagram. We're out there at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. People are giving us some great feedback on our Wednesday fundraising and film and especially our Thursday tips where you and I will sit down and have a cup of coffee together and we'll talk about issues related to fundraising and nonprofit management. Today we're going to address a topic that many of you may have an interest in even though many who are subscribers and viewers of our channel already are actively involved and and fully immersed in a nonprofit organization. We get many questions related to starting a nonprofit organization and what are some of the things that I would do to start a nonprofit organization from scratch and I'll be addressing that in a full-length video in the next couple months but in the meantime I thought I'd address a question today our first question today is from Mark in Austin Texas and Mark asks what are the first things you would do in starting a nonprofit organization well Mark thanks for that question I appreciate that so much well I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward a little bit and assume that you've already filed for your nonprofit status 501c3 status with the federal government and that you've contacted a reputable attorney, gotten all the paperwork done, and you've at least filed for your uh, 501c3 status. Uh, and in doing so, while you're waiting for a decision from the IRS, you can solicit gifts from individuals. And so uh, we're gonna assume that a little bit. Now, as part of starting a 501c3, you need to at least give some board members, the names of individuals. You need to assign someone who's a president or a chair of your board, and you also need to have a secretary who will keep track and record the minutes for your nonprofit organization. Some will add a treasurer to that to oversee the uh, expenses and the income side of things, but generally you start with a president and a secretary. From there, I think it's still important to build upon your board and you need to really be going back to basics from the standpoint of what is your mission, vision, and values because that will really be an important component in recruiting board members because if your organization is medical related well you may want to consider having a doctor as part of your board if your uh, organization is connected with higher education for some reason you may want to have a professor on your board if your organization is related uh, is a faith-based organization you may want to have a pastor or at least have a pastor's advisory board on there so it really matters that you focus in on your mission vision and values and I've talked in earlier broadcasts in fact I'll link up above a video on how to start and craft a good mission statement but in doing so you want to make sure that you focus in on who your audience is, 
how you're going to service that audience and then what the outcome is those are the three biggest things and when I say service what are your programs and projects how are you going to help to meet the needs of that audience and even solve the uh, a problem that you may uh, exist to uh, to eliminate or exist to solve so that's going to be a big part of what you do then it's going to be important that you begin to craft a budget you're going to want to make sure that you put together what are the at least in the beginning what are the bare minimum things that you're going to need uh, to accomplish your mission vision and values what are those things uh, that that will help you get going uh, you don't need to start out with a building or start out with a facility you could start out of your home and begin to move out into the community to be able to provide services to the community in that way and that that certainly is one of the things that you could do that could be part of your budget but if you're going to feed the homeless if you're going to provide water if you've decided that part of what you want to do is to provide clean water or wells to small villages in Africa you're going to want to make sure that that's part of your budget you're going to want to find out what is it going to take how much is it going to cost to purchase one well or purchase a water filter what are those costs and then once you've got that budget together then you should begin to compile a list of individuals much as we've talked about in the past in reaching major donors compile a list of individuals who you believe might have the same heart the same passion the same vision that you have and that would be willing to help to fund your organization I believe the best way to get money from individuals is face to face sitting down at the kitchen table going eyeball to eyeball with a single or a couple and asking them to partner with you in this effort through a gift and you want to make sure watch I've got a number of videos out there on this channel that focus specifically on how to solicit individuals for funds and you'll want to watch some of those videos so make sure that you uh, go out and check some check out some of those videos I'll post one above that I think you'll enjoy but also make sure that you begin to communicate with those individuals reporting back to individuals who give you gifts is so important don't default to soliciting people in the mail but also in reporting back make sure that you consider the most personal way that you're going to report back to people whether that be uh, personal by having another meeting with people and that's not bad either because it's it's a known fact nobody is more excited about giving a second gift than someone who is excited about their last gift and so you really should consider maybe meeting with people to report back at uh, you should also consider making a phone call to let people know the results of their money and at a minimum at least send an email or a letter or a note to people about the use of their money so those are the things that I would do immediately in starting a nonprofit I know we've only got a short amount of time here there's probably a lot of questions if you have other questions please put those down in the comment section I'd be happy to start a dialogue about that as I said I'll be doing a much longer video about this but in the meantime hopefully that will get you started uh, but I'm always here to help you as you are starting in this effort of venturing into the nonprofit world and starting a nonprofit if you aren't already subscribers I said earlier please subscribe to this channel we'd love to have you as part of that we enjoy those individuals who are partners with us making a difference in the world and in some cases in eternity and we just are so thankful and I appreciate you so as always you, we are here to strive to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded watch this video for some important lessons on solicitation that I think you'll enjoy take care see you in the next video